now I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Zhao Zhang Zhen, Associate Dean and Chair Professor of uh, the uh, SCM and HKBU. And he is currently the advisor on traditional medicines for the West Pacific region of the World Health Organization and USA Pharmacopeia. He is a member of the International Advisory Board of Hong Kong Standard Chinese Materia Medica. He also is also a member of the Chinese Pharmacopeia Commission. With that said, I welcome Dr. Kazang to the board. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, my topic will uh, uh, quality control of the herbal medicine. And uh, now in the world, the herbal medicine was used uh, the here and there widely, but at the same time, the safety issue also arose in international concern. Uh, here is uh, actually the United States uh, the herbal market. Uh, about 10 years ago, I have published one paper. It could authentication is fundamental for the standardization of the Chinese herbal medicines. I can give one example. The Mu Tong and Fang Ji, this is a commonly used herb. But there is a report, there are some AA, alcylotia acid, inside of it. But based on my investigation, in the market, there are nine species share the common name of the Mu Tong and Fang Ji. But actually, only two of them originated from Alistrotia. For the others, no relation with this family. Another example is the Western herb, Alistrotia. Uh, now, actually, in the market, there are nine species. How about only two, three species? Are officially in the United States from Copia. How about the situation? In our the global, the plants, the number of the plants is 300,000, uh, 300, but there is 1.6 million the names. That means each of the plants hold five or six names. This is really a big issue. How to make identification of these plants? In my paper, I give a diagram. It is treated herbal medicine authentication. That including the sixth uh, step, the first Ben Cao literature, the Asian literature, and then botanical identification, taxonomic study. And the third one is morphological study, and after that, is microscope identification. And then the chemical, the DNA identification, and the last is molecular analysis. So in this years, for the chemical and the DNA analysis, this is a well development. And the many research expert, the, as the Professor Guo is here. And now I'd like in my topic I'd like to give focus on the first four steps. This is the work, what I did in the past uh, the 30 years. The first one is the field investigation. Actually, in the past 30 years, every year, uh, I used about two months to do the field investigation. Actually, last night, midnight, I just uh, came back from the Guangxi province with the Professor Zhang. Uh, so about 20 years ago, we published one book, Medicinal Plants in China. It was published by WHO. Here I want to mention the water sample is very important because for the uh, taxonomic study, this is very important, but it needs the long-term accumulation. Now in Hong Kong, uh, with uh, Hong Kong Baptist University, we sponsored by the Bank of China. We established one of the, the herbal center. And the commonly used herbal the samples was storage here. So 
uh, you can easily uh, uh, assess this the herbal center information uh, is freely uh, on web flags. Okay. The next is now talking about the herbal resources. Actually, in the ancient time, only used for the decoction pieces, but there are many roles using these seeds. So, in order to meet the market requirements, the cultivation is really important. Based on our investigation, we have divided the, the herbal <coughs> medicine into seven zones. The, here is the, the map of China. You can see that the zone A uh, focus on this area. The typical the herbs is panaxigensin. The zone B in this area, the typical one is Dels Korea. The third one is the Peonia in the zone C. In this area, about 3,000 species. The zone D in the southern part of the China, Hainan, and Guangdong province. Uh, for example, Marinda. Another one is in the Sichuan and the Yunnan province. The typical one is Pinaria. Yeah, of course, this is uh, very popular. Both can be used as food and herbal medicine. It's uh, the Lithium Babro in the Ningxia and the Xinjiang province. And uh, yeah, in the last one is the Levum Karnato, <coughs> the Jizu in the Tibet and the Sichuan. Yeah, in here, here in this table, I have to summarize the situation, the current situation about the cultivation in China. Uh, up to now, uh, until the May of this year, uh, over 69, approaching 70 species and uh, 109. The manufacturers, and uh, this is the GAP approved by SFDA. Uh, all this, the information I have summarized and uh, published uh, in the uh, Journal of Xenopharmacology. Okay. And besides, we did the field investigation in mainland China. At the same time, our group, we also did the herbal resources in the other country in the past years here is uh, this map through the information what we did in the world based on our investigation we have the finished and the published one set of the book that called encyclopedia of medicinal plants in volume one and two give the information of medicinal plants in china the volume three is the Western herb in the Europe, uh, United States, Australia, and India, this information. In the volume four, the information is the tropical and the subtropical area around the Hong Kong. So this is the information. The Chinese version and the English version already published. The Korean version is editing now. Here is one of the uh, sample chapter of this book. Yeah. And, uh, at the same time, they also set up a website. Uh, now, over 1,000 species of herbal medicine, uh, you can get this information from the website of our database. And uh, the original plants and the, the crude drug, yeah, already finished. Now, I'd like to take the, the second part, is morphological identification. Now, I'm working in Hong Kong. Uh, every week or uh, every two or three days, I, I will receive the many letters and uh, through the email, ask me to help them to identification. What's this crude drug is originally? What's meaning of this one? Is Sanchi really? But I here I want to tell you that morphological identification, this is through uh, our morphological feature and uh, overlapping <coughs> the properties, uh, observing, touching, smelling, testing, and uh, using the word and the fair. Morphological, actually, this is the basic and the critical method for identification the problem cases of the Chinese herbal medicine, no matter in the past, present, and the future. This identification information, actually, it was included in many national pharmacopoeia around the world. 
And uh, here I can give you one example, Ephedra. Ephedra Sinica and Ephedra Inhimedica. It can be I, because the inside of it, the active compound, procedural ephedrine and ephedrine, the amount are different. So you can see that from the shape of the number of the leaves, you can easily to distinguish who is who. Another example is saffron and saffron. Mm -hmm. These two species, uh, one in my book, we already give the information. If you put it into the water, you can see the shape and the color will be changed different. Yeah. So this is based on our five years uh, investigation in the market, collected over 10,000 samples. We published a handbook, easily confuse the curve in Hong Kong, because Hong Kong is import and export uh, for the herbal medicine. The situation, the program in Hong Kong, always the program in the other parts of the world. So uh, we have summarized this one in one of the paper, the traditional experience and modern understanding. And uh, another monograph of authenticated, uh, Chinese illustrated authenticated uh, Chinese herbal medicine already published. This one in the Chinese version, traditional simplified version, and also uh, Japanese version. Uh, six uh, experts from Japan, they helped me to translate it into uh, Japanese. The Professor Godasen said from Gokuli's essay schedule uh, helped me to publish this one. The English version uh, already published, and the next one is the Korean version and the Russian version, and also the German in German. Okay. The third step, I want to see something about microscope identification. Talking about the microscope, this is a traditional method, but I want to tell you is that it's a very easy. The important thing is whatever the method is conventional or not, but the key is this method is still working, especially for identification of the herbal medicine. Uh, usually talking about microscope identification, there are two uh, ways. One is from through the transfer section. Another is under the uh, using the meal the powder. Yeah. Uh, I can give one example. The coty seeds is quite uh, quite expensive. In Hong Kong market, one kilogram at least uh, uh, two hundred thousand Hong Kong dollars one kilogram. Quite expensive. Using the word method under the microscope, mass, uh, you can easily to distinguish the real one and the fake one. One of my PhD students, she using this method and published paper and get word from Japanese pharmacopathy and the society. And uh, uh, I was invited uh, by the Chinese pharmacopoeia accumulated. 10 years data when I worked in Japan, we published one of the monograph, microscope identification, uh, the Chinese curves. And uh, now, in the past years, past 10 years, uh, our group, and the professor Kevin <coughs> he will introduce this in detail, I think, and the Hong Kong standard of the Chinese material medica, microscope identification information was included in this one. And now, uh, USP, uh, the monograph, Dietary Supplements Compendium. Uh, from the, this year, uh, I'm the, uh, coordinated by the Professor Guo, uh, is editing uh, the Compendium of Herbal Medicine in the USP. The microscope is also very important method in this one. Now, in this year, I think at the end of this year, we will publish another monograph for microscope identification, uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, all of them is the Chinese version and the English version. And in recent years, combined the microscope identification method with the chemical analysis method together, we have uh, published a series of the paper. Here, uh, here is uh, we combined the polarizing microscope. And uh, most of our paper already uh, published in this journal, Macroscope Research Techniques. Now, I'd like to talk the last part. 
the Bencao literature. Bencao is a Chinese word. That means uh, material medica. It means the ancient literature in the history of China. And uh, talking about the Bencao material medica, it gives us three kind of the information. The history, the literature, material medica. Uh, talking about the material medica give us information original plants, material and medicinal property of the theory and the clinical application. Uh, maybe this one you know is Artemisia. Uh, three years ago, uh, the professor Tu uh, got the last Alaska and the clinical medical research award from the United States uh, because Artemisia. This is a very active compound, anti-malaria. It was founded from Artemisia annua. Where got this information? Actually, from the Asian book, 1,005 years ago. So in China, like this kind of the book, there are so many. Uh, here is the one example, the Asian book. Uh, we use about 10 years, collected, and uh, then and uh, make a revision, eventually published. Uh, if we put this book, the total number is uh, 403 volume. If we put it in this size, it's really the one book, this size, one row of the book. So, so many. Here, I want to mention one of the important the famous uh, doctor, the hero in the history. He's about 500 year, years ago. The Li Shizhen and his the uh, publication Compendium of Medicinal Material Medica Ben Cao Gang. In his book, records one thousand eight hundred ninety two medicinal plants, animal, mineral, and other objects that have medicinal properties. Actually, from now on, as Li Shizhen's five hundred years birthday <coughs> approaching, two thousand eighteen. From now on, another four years to go. Uh, our team has launched a culture project to honor Li Shizhen's great contribution to Chinese medicine. Uh, some of the fishing books, publications, and the TV series, and the numerous academic uh, activities uh, will be carried out. And uh, here is a, a two sets of the book. It was published in the last month. Uh, we also had association to study the Li Shizhen and the Ben Cao. Uh, here, I want to, uh, for this meeting, I prepared uh, one of the, this, uh, the TV, uh, about five minutes. Uh, now it's in Chinese, but with the uh, English uh, the wording. So uh, please enjoy it. Chiao 在中国改革开放、巨龙腾飞的今天，香港浸会大学中医药学院与香港健康卫视在李时珍诞辰五百周年之际联手打造全球首档以中药材为拍摄对象的大型文献式纪录片《本草纲目》。香港浸会大学中
，珍爱绿色生命，呵护和谐生态，崇尚品质生活。健康卫视。2014年，香港浸会大学中医药学院与香港健康卫视找到了弘扬民族传统文化和中医药文化的契合点。大型文献纪录片《本草纲目》的诞生，利国利民，这是一种中医药传播推广的新的尝试。本系列片将由香港浸会大学中医药学院赵忠镇教授领衔，组织世界性的专家团队，与健康卫士一起，以国际化的视角，深入浅出的聊中医药、说文化、谈历史、带产业，展示中医药的最新研究成果，讲述东西方文化交融，普及中医药科学知识，促进中医药教育。大国崛起，大纲目，让我们与健康卫士同行，发掘祖国的医药文化遗产，弘扬祖国的医药产业。该片以李时珍巨著《本草纲目》为依托，以中医药材为拍摄对象，通过纪实的表现手法，以富有时尚人文气息的巧妙展示，看美丽多彩的中国风景，讲古老神秘的中国故事。解中国医药的博大精深，悟中国哲学的深奥大气，聊当代中国的人情味道。每一集节目将由三大主题对一味药材进行立体式呈现。《本草亮相》以科普性为重，以真实拍摄和三维特效相结合的方式。阐述药材的性状、炮制、功效等，概览本草全貌，还原本草真容。此环节可独立成为一道，使观众了解中药材基本信息，识别中药材的短篇系列。《本草故事》，用最具趣味的方式，生动剖析和说明药材的理论知识与实用价值。用浓重的笔墨讲述中国人与中药、中华民族与自然相互依存、和谐共生的人文关系，让全篇透露出浓浓的人文关怀和淡淡的人情味道。《本草心经》，老百姓用药的亲身体验，中药学家的权威解读，最新的研究成果和应用。在本环节兼容并蓄，实验研究、现代临床、药品开发、产业化研究在这里生动展示。在完成本系列片后，将由健康卫视国际发行部发行至全球华语电视台和相关媒体进行同步推广。这将是一次穿越古今的文化之旅，这将是华夏历史上。一次史无前例的机遇，怀着虔诚之心，我们正视本草；怀着感恩之心，我们以现代电视手段重铸本草；怀着热爱之心，我们期待与社会各界有识之士携手努力。把《本草纲目》真正做好。Thank you, Dr. Zangzhen. And、uh, we can take one or two questions again and move forward. So, any questions from the audience? I'm from Yogi Simon from South Africa. I'm a senior academic at the University of Missouri Natal, and I was fortunate enough to actually visit uh, to visit the Chinese School of Medicine last Thursday at your university. Already. Thank you very much for a very 
uh, impressive visit. I, wish, I would like to thank Iris, the secretary who actually showed me around. And I visited the museum and I was extremely impressed and I have a lot of ideas to take back to my university. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome you to visit Hong Kong again and uh, looking forward to do the collaboration in the future. Thank you. Okay.